In the heart of the wild, animals usually keep a wary distance from humans, driven by their instinctual fear. So, when a lone man found himself approached by a tigress, he couldn't have expected the extraordinary request she would make. Victor's world revolved around a charming rural village in Russia, nestled in the embrace of a magnificent forest. It was here that he had spent his entire life, and this woodland expanse served as both his playground and classroom. Guided by his father, he learned the delicate arts of hunting, tracking, and respecting the grandeur of nature. As the years rolled by, Victor transformed into a seasoned hunter, maneuvering the woods with expertise, always ensuring the finest game for himself and his clientele. Little did he know that his love for the wilderness would lead him to a life-altering crossroads. It all started like any other day for Victor. With the first light of dawn, he set forth into the forest, intent on a successful hunt. With orders to fulfill and his supplies dwindling, he sought a plentiful catch. As the morning unfolded, the sun bathed the forest in an otherworldly glow, leaving the hunter in sheer awe. By midday, Victor took a pause for a meal. Some birds had already met his skillful aim, and he decided to cook one for his reprieve. In an unfamiliar part of the woods, he stood undaunted, knowing he could always retrace his steps back to the village. Ahead, a flood of light indicated a clearing, perfect for a rest. Yet what Victor stumbled upon within was beyond the scope of imagination. At the heart of the clearing stood a tigress. Fear gripped Victor. Clearly, the creature had sensed his approach, fixing its gaze on him as he emerged from the trees. Strangely, despite startling him, the tigress displayed no sign of aggression. Instead, an uncommon tranquility emanated from her. Seizing this rare moment of calm, Victor cautiously leveled his gun at the creature. Still, the tigress held her ground, meeting his eyes. Puzzled by her behavior and unwilling to harm such a majestic being in the absence of a true threat, Victor slowly lowered his weapon and approached. As he advanced, the tigress, growling softly, took measured steps backward. Drawing nearer, Victor discerned the tigress's unmistakable femininity, her teeth swollen with milk, signaling the presence of nearby cubs. Another revelation was the tigress's apparent limp, a grave wound marrying her hind leg. Concern etched across his face, Victor gently addressed the tigress as he drew nearer. Her growl ceased, allowing him to close the gap. Examining the wound, Victor realized its severity, an old gunshot wound, festering and compromising the animal's health. Driven to help, Victor's attempts were met with the tigress's defiant growls. Then, something truly extraordinary unfolded. She turned, moving towards the edge of the clearing, only halting at the verge of the trees. It was here that Victor's ears caught delicate mules and growls, the tigress's cubs. With utmost gentleness, she lifted one from the ground and limped back towards Victor. Setting the cub at his feet, she retrieved another, situating it beside the first. Confounded and astounded, Victor grappled with understanding. He couldn't fathom the tigress's intent with her cubs, and fear prevented him from interfering. In that moment, the tigress began to retreat from the hunter and her offspring. Victor was struck, calling out for her to wait. Yet, she merely fixed her gaze on him one last time before vanishing into the woods. The hunter was left in stunned silence. He knew the tigress wouldn't leave her cubs unless she sensed their only chance of survival lay with him. Unwilling to abandon the young tigers, Victor cradled them in his arms, making his way out of the forest and back to his abode. Once safely back in the village, he took them to the local vet. He sought assurance of their well-being, determined to raise them with utmost care. The vet provided guidance on their care, from feeding to their growing needs. Victor followed every instruction to the letter. Over time, Sasha and Alexei, the cubs he'd named, flourished into robust young tigers. Eventually, officials from a nearby city zoo learned of them. They offered a substantial sum for the cubs, envisioning them as star attractions. 
Yet Victor declined, loyalty to the Tigress guiding his decision. Finally, the day arrived for Sasha and Alexei to return to the wild. They had grown into self-reliant young adults, equipped with the skills to thrive. Victor bid them farewell, knowing the forest was their true home. A couple of years later, Victor ventured to the clearing where it all began, hoping, against reason, to find his charges. The clearing seemed largely unchanged, save for peculiar holes dotting the ground. Unaware, he set up camp, prepared to spend the night under the open sky. As he gazed into the firelight, a massive grizzly bear emerged from the woods, striding into the clearing. The bear locked eyes with Victor and charged. Panic surged as Victor realized he'd left his gun in the tent. With no recourse, he leaped up, bolting into the woods, putting distance between himself and the bear. The grizzly pursued, swiftly closing the gap. Just as despair began to grip him, two blurs of orange and black streaked from the trees, positioning themselves between Victor and the bear. Relief washed over him as he recognized Sasha and Alexei. The two tigers, now fully grown, valiantly shielded him, confronting the enraged grizzly. Eventually, the bear relented, retreating. Victor stood, scarcely able to fathom that the creatures he'd nurtured had come to his aid. Once assured of Victor's safety, the tigers returned to the trees. Though he knew their paths would never cross again, he felt immense joy seeing them thriving in their rightful habitat.